tight clip for attaching your line to your downrigging rod. Pill popper. It's a magnet set up. I can simply just clip on. Patent pending. This rod goes in my other rod holder. Drag set light. Where I need to be. So there's a huge bait ball down what about 20 feet? Yep. Between 18 and 21 feet. Huge school of rainbow smelt. Down we go. Put about 18 or 19 feet out. Come back over here. Tighten this drag up. Now, did he pop that off the clip himself? No, I had to pull it off. You had to pull it off. Yeah. But it didn't take a lot. It just bumping it come off. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna come over here and put about 24 feet of cable out. We call it cable, but it's just braided line. I'm going to put 25 feet out, so I'm going to be down about 20 feet. And then just tighten this one up slightly. Oh, that just popped off. Half an hour in this morning with our flasher ply combo. Nice 11 and a half, 12 inch trout. And that's one for the perch design flasher. Yeah, perch flasher. This is the setup we're doing, perch flasher with uh, about four feet of line. I got a muddler's minnow on here. Was that live releasing that after all? And you can see on the depth finder, there's our bait, there's our fish, and we had our downrigging rods set up so that these flashers and flies are right in amongst them. 20 to 26 feet of the aggressive feeding zone. A lot of big sleepers down at 35. We wish we could get something in front of them that would make them bite but they just don't. What's nice about this rubber net, you can just do a quick hook, unset, and send them on his way. Second pass up this shoreline. The first one we uh, I caught about a 11 and a half inch trout on it. Uh, small perch flasher, four feet of line and a muddler's minnow set up on our downrigging rods. Right now I got 22 feet of line out, so I'm probably down about 16 to 17 feet. And you look at the fish finder, there's a lot of trout down there, about 20 feet. So when they're all laying down there looking up, I'm going to be right in their strike zone. And there's a trout. This will be on a small trout flasher with a rainbow smelt streamer fly. Got 
some mass to him. He's got some shoulders here. You want to turn the engine off? Or we're not dragging them? Or? And we're at 37. Want me to reel mine in? Nope. You're good. Oh, yeah, he's got some shoulders to him. He's got that just looks like he's going over my way. Get some drag out on me. Go over here. And there's 20 feet gain, just like that. I haven't seen him yet. My guess is the fall. Ready? What about 14, 15? Yeah, about 14 this trout. Yeah. Quick release. Nice trout, eh? That's a beautiful fish. Take a couple pictures of him. Just keep him down there in the water. Oh, you got him on the GoPro? Well, just in the net. I had 34 feet of uh, cable out, and I figured I was probably passing over them at about 26, 27 feet. Yeah. Yeah, you were a little deeper down there. I caught mine a little shallower, so there yeah, he took it seems off the to be himself. pretty effective water coverage. Really Bill Popper's work. He took it off himself. Here's your hook. <clears throat> that is not a gaff, people. Even the, the releases. Yeah. itself. Lighten up your drag. And we're all set to go to the deep. Do you want to just make a loop right and go down through there again before we get our lines out or is this good up here? This is good up okay. here up past this dock here. cloud of bait down there at 20 feet.
What depth are you going down, Gerald? I'll be when I can find 35 feet of water. Right now I'm going 28, 29. Okay, I'm going to go down and around that 20 foot range. Yep, this is all on video. On the weight rod, it when you've got a strike and a, a hook up, it shudders before it releases. There's no mistaking it, the difference between the fish and bottom. The weight rod just vibrates. So you can see there how simple of an operation that was to get my line at a consistent trolling depth. I can place it right in where the fish are with no get there's no guessing involved it's it's putting your uh, your lower lower of choice right where you want it to be fish finder looking there now come on 20, up. we're gonna get a depth alarm okay here. I'm gonna come over here and good jagged bottom at 20 to 23 feet we'll go up what are we at there now 24 And reeling up like this and dropping back down is not a bad thing. Yeah, you're following the contours of the bottom. <laughs> you can see on my rod tip there, it's got that slow wobble to it. That will be the flasher down there. The flasher takes a little time to react to the change in depth, so I, I as a habit try to keep my lead four feet off of bottom, my uh, weight. That way it gives me a little bit of grace. I know I'm never picking up uh, grass or trash on the fly. Never have. stay right around that 18, 19, 20 foot range. I got 24 feet of cable out. Anytime you hear that beep, the sonar is set to beep on a 24 inch fish. So there is the occasional bruiser drought in here. nice thing about having your flasher and fly combo set up on a downrigger is once that pill breaks off the line you've got no other weight on your rod which makes a fantastic fight especially using light tackle you're, you're not it's like reeling in a 32 inch straight bass with eight ounces of bottom weight Imagine if you took that eight ounces of bottom weight off, how much of a better fight you'd have. This is the same setup. We're using another source for weighting our line to the depth that we need. Yeah, you could fish with just a streamer fly, nothing else. Yeah, you don't have to have a flash. You could use a spoon, a, a straight fly, a lake trawl, a spinner, um, rapella. It's a it's a multi use multi use tool for getting whatever you want down a little bit deeper on a consistent trolling depth. You know, we're talking, the water's warmed up. Most people have already given up fishing brook trout. We've got the lake to ourselves for fishing. We the occasional recreational boater out here. 
but that's the time that this downrigging or controlled depth fish can really shine. Yep, there's one. This is a nice one, Gerald. The battery hasn't come off the clip. If you have a yet. partner, it's always good to reach over and Yeah, this is a this up. is a nice fish here guys. That was probably one of those two feeder fish we marked on the finder. He hasn't he's swimming right towards the boat here, Gerald. Oh, nice fish. Yeah. Uh, he's probably going to have to play it out here by the back of the boat. He hasn't really fought a whole lot here yet. Well, that's Going 16. Maybe 17 from the looks of... Oh, yeah, that's gosh. A nice, that's a nice brookie, Gerald. Oh, that's a 20-incher. Oh, my God. He Look has, at the he size. Hasn't here yet. Bring him right in. There you go. Oh, my God. Look at the slab. Yeah, Gerald, take a quick Video picture. on or off, high five there. Yeah. <laughs> here you go. What a Here's beautiful my... brook trout. That's your best trout ever, isn't Probably. it? Probably, yeah. Here you go. What a slab. Holy mackerel. James, congratulations. All right, I'm just gonna take a quick measurement here, Gerald. He's a uh, the... nice thing about the fly, that nice little pick there, and that fish is gonna be free. Where's your tape measure? It's just laying there in the bottom of that. Where? It's just in there, laying at the bottom there somewhere. Nice male. Chin. Just give me a second here, we'll lay him down flat. That's me bleeding, by the way, that's not the fish. Let's go right on the, do a nice measurement here. This, this one, I might have to take this one at really good. 17 well, and three quarter. Don't come back this way. 17, 17 and, and a half. half. Nice brookie. All right, guys. You want to take one more picture of my phone there, Gerald? I turned it off. Okay, just hit the bottom button and just swipe right. And I hit the photo. photo. It's a camera, camera. There should be a picture of a camera there. Oh, never mind. It's gone. You got him on GoPro. There you go. Fucking A. <laughs> camera off? No, camera's still Turn on. Turn the fucking camera off. <laughs> oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah, you got her. All right. There's one. Yeah, it's a small one. Yeah, <clears throat> I think I'll be all right. Well, Unless he hasn't fought yet. Yeah, yeah, I got that one on camera too. Yeah, nice little trout. Flasher and Muddler's Minnow again. That net at Gerald. I'll clock him right in there. He came out of about 25 feet of water. Looks out. There 
There he goes. Maybe I'm not unclipped here yet. It must be wrapped around it. Don't, don't, don't pull it. Don't pull it. Is he still on? Yeah, he's on. Yeah. Here. I don't want to rip those. That's a good bag, yeah. That's a beautiful trout. Yeah. Put a tape to him or? Ah, he's probably 15. 14, yeah. Looks like he's been wrapped around a line at some point. Could be mine right now. <laughs> Simple release. Damn it, that. I think I know why that didn't unclip for. There's a void. There's a void right in the back of that crotch. Yeah. And that's where I was putting the other one. Just so happens the tape it worked out perfect there. I never thought. I just stuck it all the way back and dropped her in. And... Yeah. I don't know who made that one, but definitely not in the. Uh... Same ballpark as the other one. Swim them along. It's still a four, 13 inch. With pliers and just pull it out and not touch them. The action's so furious, I want to. <laughs> Is that number six on the day? Five. Five. Hooked up. I'm way, way behind the shainer. Not a big fish, but it's respectable. Thank you. 